some people might say pluses or minuses, but uh, just tell me like the advantages that you might have coming back down from the meet. Well, I'm a glass half full guy, and uh, the travel and being in a regional rivalries against teams that have a great dislike for us, and there's a lot of history behind it. It's really exciting for us. I think our fans are excited. I know our alumni and our, and our school is excited to be in this league. And you had the, I mean, it's a, I was over there getting coffee, and you met uh, Coach Ruffin for the first time, so it's it's kind of like a, a process for you. Yeah, it's a, I tell everybody, drinking, uh, being a head coach first time is like drinking water out of a fire hose, so it's always something new every day. But it's, it's been fun, and uh, it's a great league, and excited to get in and compete in it. Tell me about uh, Michael, right? Tell me about Michael you got over here. Michael is uh, one of our leaders, a heck of an offensive lineman, started for us at right tackle, and a guy. I've been fortunate. I've had a bunch of guys go to the NFL. I think he's a guy, if he'll do the right things the next couple of years, he'll at least be somebody on their radar. And he's about what we want to be about. Works hard, great student, uh, going to graduate and get into master's school this next year, and is going to be a heck of a player for us. Well, Michael, there's no doubt you are big enough, man. You are a, a mountain of a young man over there. Uh, tell me about how, how excited you are uh, to start this season. It's going to be some new adventures in the SIAC. Yes, sir. Um, well, this is a new conference for me, but everybody I talk to swears that this conference has the best rivalries. All right? I mean, people from all over the state going to come to the games. It's, like he said, it cuts down on travel a heck of a lot more. So I'm just excited to get started, really. So a lot of people, if they're diehard SIAC and, and maybe didn't follow the MEAC as closely, uh, will have some catching up to do. Uh, what, what's the what's the best thing about this Savannah State football team? Uh, well, I, well now that uh, Coach uh, Quinn is here, I got to say our mentality. Okay, we got rid of everybody who wasn't ready and who wasn't who's not going to put in 100 percent of their effort. All right, right now we only got the best guys on. I looked at your schedule, and your schedule said at, 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 at. <laughs> Tell me about how how prepared you have to be mentally uh, to be on the road that long. Oh, my gosh. We got to make sure we do what we got to do in the classroom. We got to make sure we take care of our bodies. We got to make sure that we're eating well. We just got to make sure that we're on top of our game because, because these road games are going to be hectic for a couple weeks. All right? Coach, I looked at it. What? Was it five in a row, four yep. in a row? We've got two up here in Atlanta. We've got over 7,000 alumni here in the Atlanta area, so we're counting on them to come out in droves and support us when we're up here in Atlanta. But, uh, yeah, and you know, the nice thing is a lot of them are day trips, which makes it fairly easy. Um, but we do have five in a row, so we'll be excited. It'll be a challenge. we got a long stretch there, and we just got to do a good job resting them and getting them ready to go. Well, look, a lot of people from the outside are going to say, hey, they come down from D1. They're just going to run everybody over. Uh, Tell me about the, you know, having maybe a little bit of pressure with those kind of expectations. Well, you know, be frank, I don't listen to the outside noise. It's just noise. We're probably the least talented team in the league, so we just got to come in and earn our stripes. I guess I told our guys, let's just come out and play hard, and, you know, we'll let everybody else do the prognosticate. We're just going to come try to compete and, and be as good as we can be. If we'll do that as coaches and players, we'll have a good year. What will be, what will be success for you this season? I'm not going to put a number on it. It would be us, you know, and at the end of the deal, hey, we maximized what our guys could do, whether that's one win or ten, who, who knows. Just what we got out of it, we maximized our team and made the best of it. And I think as a coach, sometimes you get overrated on wins and losses is what you did with what you had.